Hey everyone, it's Michelle Alexandria here with the rare two videos in two days. I kind of felt inspired to do another LG OLED myth busting video. So today, one of the new one of the new complaints I'm hearing and reading all over the internet is that LG is terrible, just terrible with 4K upscaling. Old content looks horrible on this TV, just horrible, horrible. I tell you. Horrible. Um, so what I want to do is actually show you in about three or four minutes that it actually doesn't look all that bad. And um, what I have here, this is my Plex server. And you know, a couple of years ago, I went through this whole exercise where I burned over two thousand movies and TV shows, and so I could have everything have a digital library. Um, so I have it on my Plex, and this is Plex through the LG through the LG TV. So it's the press app that's actually on the built-in LG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some content, just some old school content. And you tell me what you think. Um, let's start with Hogan's Heroes. So here's Hogan's Heroes. I, I burned it. Um, I, I, Hogan's Heroes has always been one of my favorite comedies. I, and it's, it's a shame that because of his sensitive subject matter, you can't find you. Well, you can't find it now. I mean, this is from my store board copy, so never mind. Never mind my whole rant I was going to go on over. I was going to go on, <laughs> so ignore that. Uh, but anyway, here's Hogan's Heroes. I want to show you the classic opening scene um, for, a few, for a few seconds. And you can actually just see how good this looks. So look at this. This is old school black and white. Uh, the very first episode of Hogan's Heroes was, was filmed in black and white. So look at that. First of all, the, the first thing you'll notice is how black it, how how beautifully black it is. Um, I mean, look at look at how well the colors contrast. And remember, this is an old school DVD. This is from a DVD, and this is SD. And actually, when I recorded it, um, I'm I'm sorry, I just kicked myself out of it. Darn it. Um, so let's start it back up. So when I recorded it, um, I actually stretched it. So look at how beautifully black that is. Come on. And look at how, how the grays pop on this. And again, this is Hogan's Heroes, a 60-year-old show um, from, a DVD, from a DVD set that was actually uh, done in standard definition. So this is in 4K or anything. This is just regular standard definition for, uh, from a 4.3 master and basically when I recorded it I just took out the black bars. So so just look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Now, now tell me, does this upscale look horrible? I mean of course, you're not going to get absolute perfection with upscaling because it is upscaling. But you can't you you will never convince me that this is terrible. And remember, this is also from um, from the cam from the camera, so you're not getting the true sense of how good this looks. But again, look at the, look at the black background, the pure black background, the shadow detail, everything. This is amazing. And again, this original transfer was not that great to begin with. But look how clean this is. Now, I'm going to show you. Let's see if I can find something else interesting to show you show you guys. So so that was Hogan's Heroes, a 30-year-old you know, show. Um, let's see what else we have that I can show. Let, let's, let's go to our TV. Um, how about Greatest American Heroes? Let me show you a little bit of Greatest American Hero. Again, standard definition transfer. Transfer was kind of crappy. Uh, what is this, like a 30-year-old show? Um, so I actually haven't watched this in a while, so I don't even know what... Uh, all I remember about this was the quality was not that great. But again, look at that. Look at look at the pure blacks. And 
and I wish I could figure out how to get rid of the menu. Can someone tell me how to get rid of the menu without actually putting it down? Uh, boy, this is driving me nuts. But again, this is a show that came out in the 80s. And look how beautiful that is. So don't t so don't tell me it does a lousy job of us here. Let me let me let's show let's look at some other let's look at a couple other things. Uh, I know. Let's take a look at uh, now this one crime story. I know looks horrible. So so let's take a look at crime story. Again, a show from the eighties. The the transfer was horrible on this. If I remember. The, the DVD transfer was horrible on this. So if you remember this show, this, this was one of my favorite shows ever. Amazing show, great music. Now this is a terrible upscale, but, but the original version of this was horrible to begin with. So this is a terrible upscale, but when you factor it, compare it to what the original DVD looked like, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. So this looks terrible. It's all grainy and everything, but look at the original DVD. And I wish I had the original DVDs as well, but yeah, this is terrible. And then let's go to something, and I'm trying to pick shows that maybe if I'm lucky or so old, it won't get me copyright strike. Uh, boy, boy, boy. So here's, here's Cold Case. Uh, now this, I, I won't, tell you about this one. No, I won't play that one. So let, let's play uh, Six Million Dollar Man. Again, legally purchased. And I, and I purchased Cold Case. It's just that, you know, we want, we, we would not speak of that. <laughs> so let, let me play a later episode. Let, let me play Cold Case. Let me play, not Cold Case. Uh, Six Million Dollar, Six Million Dollar Man, standard definition. Do, 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 do. Now look at that. That is gorgeous, really. I mean, that is a gorgeous upscale of, a, of again, an 80-year, of, of an old TV show that came out on DVD in a, in a standard definition transfer. And again, for this one, um, I this was originally in 4.3, and I artificially stretched it when I recorded it because I like full screen. I hate black bars. Um, so if this was in its original aspect ratio, you you would be talk you would be doing something here. So look at this again, SD content. So let me see if I can find something that's actually in in uh, 1080p content. Something that's 1080p. Uh, boy, 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 that's pretty sad. I don't. Oh, how about Batman? This is I, I burned this from the Batman set, and this is um. Actually, it was filmed in ten. This is the this is from the 1080p recently released Blu-ray set that came out two years ago. So let's take a look at this. So this is HD, and again, I probably removed the black bars on this. But, but come on, that that looks great. That's almost flawless. Do 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 do, Mr. Freeze. So here you go. So that's all I'm gonna play up that. And uh, let's let's go over here. Or oh, actually here, Let, let's let's see if I could get to. Can I? The question is, can I get to? The opening sequence, where you actually get to see the Biff, Beth, Pound, Pound, and uh, Gloria's. Uh, but look at that, that looks beautiful. Wow, that is a terrible shot. What's going on here? Oh, look at that. That is wow. Now there is, there is a lot of grain in this. I'm not gonna lie. This transfer is a terrible transfer because there is a lot of grain, but it, 
But considering how old this movie is and the fact that it was a terrible transfer to begin with, I'm I'm not I'm not that put out by. It. Is that David Hasselhoff? Is this David Hasselhoff? It looks like David Hasselhoff. I'm trying to get to a. So so that's that. Uh, let's see what else I can find. Um, I want to find something that's 1080p to show you. So. Now, if I go to the Apple TV, and again, all of this is burned, all of this is ripped stuff. So, so let's go here to the Apple TV. So that was all content that I actually burned. So let's go over here to the Apple TV. What is that? No, I, I want to keep that. Um, let's go. Let's go to my t purchase TV shows and see if I can find Speed Racer. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna watch that. Let me trust the Getty Family Saga. What? What the heck? I want to watch that. So let's go over here to Speed Racer. So you can't you can't go wrong with a little Speed Racer action. Let's play that in iTunes. Open it. Open this up. Ah, uh, boy, come on. Let's go. Resume playing. Okay. And why is my internet so slow? But Speed Racer? Here we go, here comes Speed Racer, he's the demon on wheels. He's the demon and he's coming in, chasing after you. He's a da 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 powerful Mark 5. Here he comes. Here comes the racer. He's the demon on wheels. Do 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 do. I miss the days when TV shows actually actually had theme songs. So that's 1080. That's 1080p content. Let's see, let's see some more. Uh, let's go. Boom 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 boom. And 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 the goal of this is I'm just showing you older content. I'm not showing. you... I don't want to show you anything new because, of course, new stuff will play. Well, uh, Sonya's Ninja Team Gotcha Man. Oh, crap. F you. So, let's go. TV shows, uh, Gotcha Man. Gotcha Man. And these are all the TV shows that own, which is on iTunes, which is really ridiculous. Uh, let's see, gotcha man, gotcha man. And and, and the sad thing is, I'm kind of anal. I like to own every the full season and stuff. So once I go down these rabbit holes, I try to buy the full season. So here, here we go. Let's take a look at this. Do 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 do. And again, look. Look at the nice black levels there. Shoopy, 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 shoopa. Shoopa, 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 shoopa. Shoo, shoo, do, 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 do. I love this theme song. Let's play it. Da, 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 da. Okay. Enough. That's enough of that. And then, I. Uh, and for snacks, let me show you. A few minutes of Game of Thrones. No, 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 no. That's definitely going to get a copyright strike. Never you mind. I'm not showing that. <laughs> what am I thinking? Um, so, yeah, you can see that there's a lot, that the TV actually does a halfway decent job of upscaling. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sony, Sony TVs or any other TV wouldn't be able to do much better with their upscaling of this kind of old, older content. I mean, here, Jay, and then let, let me see if I can get you and show you, like, well, I, I showed you enough examples. Um, but, yeah, it works pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with the quality of the upscaling and how well this TV upscales. I wish it would do better, but I can't imagine how much better you can get because you're, up, you're trying to upscale really old SD content. 
that was probably in like 480p, not even 720p, but 480p or 320p or whatever, and it was fuzzy and really grainy to begin with. So with those caveats in mind, a lot of the stuff, um, I'm pretty happy with how good of a job it does at upscaling. I'm actually pretty happy with how good almost every TV I've tried does with 4K upscaling. I'm not expecting it to look pristine and in 4K, but if it if it look, if it's watchable and it looks great and it's sharp, and it's mostly sharp, then I'm happy. I don't know what people expect from 4K upscaling, especially when you're talking about content that's 30 or 40 years old, grainy as hell, that was in 4.3 and everything else. And it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I'm sorry, you're just not gonna get a perfect upscale from most TVs. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Please hit the like button and subscribe button if you like this content. And God darn it, God, gosh darn it, I still gotta post my interviews. So let me post that up in a few minutes as well. So talk to you guys later, bye.